Hello, my beautiful Vibe Tribers. Welcome, welcome, welcome to your Mystic Affirmations for Thursday, January 20th, 2022. Welcome to our relentlessly optimistic, positively positive, abundance and beautiful energy reading as we use this energy for our manifestation purposes. We use the law of divine compensation, the law of attraction, and our ability to focus our intention on our best possible life. Remember, this is a collective reading for all sun, moon, and rising signs. That means if you'd like a personal reading, please visit my website, royalmystic.com. I'll be more than happy to assist you once you schedule your appointment. And if you need a little boost during the week, you can check out my podcast, Royal Mystic Collective Wisdom. It's available on all major podcast platforms. So here we go into our energy. Ooh, nice. We have the Ace of Swords, which is a gift of clarity and focus and cutting through the veil. You can now see your way forward as this is a gift of, of being able to see through what's been blocking you and lifting the fog or lifting what's been obscuring your vision. This is a victory energy from divine. It is a gift. All Aces are gifts. And then you have the Hierophant, which is the energy of being accepted or granted permission to enter. It's the energy of a large corporation or a membership to something being welcomed in, being allowed permission or entrance. This is also the Taurus Major Arcana. So let's see what else we have. Thank you, angels, archangels, divine pure white light. Divine spirit, the magician, spirit guides, gods and goddesses. Thank you so much for being present here. To allow all sun, moon, and rising signs to have the information they seek. To assist them in remaining on their highest possible spiritual path. We thank you so much, Divine, for these blessings and beautiful messages. And we receive them in the love and light for which they are intended. We thank you for this Divine guidance as always. And we welcome this blessed energy. Thank you so much, Divine. You are always welcome and very appreciated. So... The second cut card was the Magician, and we got four cards out here, so we have a bonus card. Yay, I know y'all love that. And the Magician is the energy of our whole, kind of our whole purpose of what we're doing is to focus ourselves into the energy of receiving and believing that we may receive the, the outcome that we want. And then we have to remember... Focusing on a direct outcome will bring you what you ask for, but it may not be your best outcome. That's why I always recommend saying, thank you, universe, I've received my best possible life now. Because that, you know, what's best for you may change over time. And what you used to be fixated on might not be the best. And, and just be open for the universe to, to improve your circumstances to this or something better, right? Whatever it is. So that's that's having an open energy for all good things and allowing yourself to do so. Now, we have the Queen of Pentacles as our underlier, which is the energy of abundance and stability, so we love that. And I don't know why I have these cards out, but since I do, let's do it. What do you say? I I inadvertently set them there. So we're going to have our little second set of cards that I don't normally do. <laughs> so the three, the three, the six of cups, I was looking at these three and I know it's a six. I didn't even move my finger. Um, the six of cups is soul family energy. So it's here with this beautiful energy of the queen of pentacles. So hang on. I sat that on top of that for no apparent reason. So we're going to put these up here. And we got extras and extra extras. So here's empowerment, and this is the energy of feeling worthy and saying to yourself, you are deserving of receiving your best possible life and, and believing it, right? Now you're at a point where you not only just say it to say it to get yourself to accept it, but you actually are now feeling like you've done the work, you feel worthy of it. And I recognize and appreciate all that inspires me to feel empowered. Remember, you're already empowered. It's a thing that has to wake up within you. So the things that you find in your life that actually give you the feeling of that capability or the accomplishments that you've done that make you feel empowered, 
that's what that's what this is talking about is the things that trigger you to remember you have you have earned the right to be here so because you didn't have to earn it by the way that's that's the whole thing is you already had it you just have to believe it yourself so here's good fortune which is always a happy card the universe provides me and my family with prospects for good fortune what an amazing energy and remembering that everyone will benefit and that's when it's a when it's a win-win it's always the best outcome let's see what our get more information this is where we need to go within allow ourselves to contact our higher source energy be in a place of meditation this particular card is Metatron Metatron is an archangel known as the scribe of God or the hand of God the right hand of God he is the energy of holding this beautiful Metatron's cube it's the DNA of all existence now he is ascended from a human and in his human form his name was Enoch and he ascended to be Metatron and so this is a big deal he's the one that is the gatekeeper for all the information to all the universe it's for all existence pretty amazing and let's see what else we have he's also one of my main guides so he introduced himself to me and I didn't know who he was so I had to look it up isn't that cool oh look at that empowerment a second time just in case you didn't get it the first time the frequency of empowerment supports our ability to show up fully and completely uniting us with others in the deep trust that we are all connected through the same source and if you look inside here it looks like a version of the Metatron's cube as well because these are also sacred geometry uh, um, activation cards the reason I got into sacred geometry is because I started to see symbols uh, I saw the Metatron's cube I didn't know what it was called or anything and so I sought out what the what the symbol I was seeing and I figured out it was a Merkaba or Merkaba and that in in its full form is Metatron's cube is what I was seeing and it was spinning and that's also uh, a symbol of activation of your third eye and the connection to source so just in case any of you are having that experience it looks like a spirograph figure spinning and mine was spinning to the left and I didn't know any of that stuff I didn't know what it was called or who it related to or why I was seeing it and it is an, a, an activation ascension energy so in our Louise Hay cards I radiate acceptance and I am deeply loved by others love surrounds me and protects me I am beautiful and everybody loves me this is a this is a feeling of self-love that you want to um, enhance within yourself <clears throat> so that you know you are worthy and you are accepted and you are beautiful and if you love yourself then other people can can follow suit so being in the energy of allowing I radiate acceptance I accept and I am deeply loved by others love surrounds me and protects me and yes it does because love is the highest frequency I trust my inner wisdom as I go about my daily affairs I listen to my own guidance my intuition is always on my side I trust it to be there at all times I am safe and your intuition is for you it is for you it is trying to protect you and help you I trust my inner wisdom as I go about my daily affairs I listen to my own guidance my intuition is always on my side I trust it to be there at all times I am safe now we're not confusing intuition with our negative fear voice the way you know the difference because I get asked this how do you know that it's the intuition talking to you because you get a still calmness and a peace in your heart if it's your fear voice it makes you afraid it makes you feel negative you may even get an ache in your stomach or feel nauseous that's different that's your ego and fear 
That's identifying too much in the natural. When you identify in your soul and your spirit and be in the higher frequency, it's always safe. And here we go. <laughs> All right. So we have the Empress with the Judgment card. And the Judgment card is Archangel Gabriel normally blowing a horn in the Standard Tarot. This is something coming back around, something from the past that is now bringing a new opportunity. Now, it doesn't have to be the same piece, the same opportunity. It's the same image or the same uh virtually the same thing in a different package or a different location so if you were trying to get a job and that job fell through or if it were some relationship and that relationship fell through this is the restoration of something different but the same virtual thing that you were wanting so something you thought was off the table is being restored fully and wholly and there is the empress of the new energy beginning the framework of of the new beginning as you build it forward so, the Empress is the feminine energy of the universe, which helps you to grow and build and, and have divine ideas and intuition. I call her the Muse. Then you have the World card with the King of Pentacles. You got the Queen of Pentacles here, which is the new beginning financially, and this is securing the finances. And the world is an upgrade. It can also be someone getting a, a higher position, a higher ranking. And the energy of being fully grounded in the king's energy, king energy or masculine energy, is something already formed. So this person is able to truly back it up with, with what they're trying to make this agreement. Nice. We have the nine of cups, which is your heart's desire being granted. And the magician of this deck, which is saying, you keep manifesting, you're working your way right into the yes from the universe. So... This is fabulous with the world card and the magician, which we had earlier in the cut card. The master manifester is the energy of being fully in your ability to stay focused as you bring in what you're choosing to bring in. You get to focus on it and you get to do it. Do it through your heart chakra so that you're in an energy of fully manifested love and light. And then the ten of wands, beautiful energy. Moving with new opportunity, releasing you from the struggle. The struggle is over. This offer that has come in here with this Four of Cups energy is a blessing in disguise. Remember, sometimes it's a it's a an opportunity or a blessing in a brown paper bag. Just because it doesn't look like you know all that on the outside doesn't mean you shouldn't check it out before you say no, because you know external things aren't really what's important, right? You can you can dress it up. On the outside and and a million dollars is still a million dollars brown paper bag or fancy gucci suitcase right so allow yourself to to investigate because this looks like it is the be all end all with that ten of rods the nine of cups a world card the king of pentacles queen of pentacles the magician twice because you had it in the cut cards as well and then the empress beautiful empress energy and soul family so these are people who are on your side Wanting their highest good and trying to assist you to get there. So it looks like, you, and you had empowerment twice too with good fortune and the ability to connect to source, being in a place of trusting and appreciating yourself. So Thursday looks very nice. We have extra, extra. So <laughs> many blessings to you all. I hope you enjoyed the reading and I'll see you tomorrow. Namaste, my friends.